welcome to another tutorial my viewers and my subscribers now for today's lesson it's a part two of soda code and we will be looking at if then and if then else statements these statements are also referred to as conditional statements a conditional statements provides a choice such as if then or else they make decision in the program basically so where you would have the, the flow chart method and then you will have the diamond the diamond will represent the decision so basically that represent a conditional statement likewise in a pseudocode the if then else will represent your diamond so let us look at this question now this question asks us to write an algorithm that prints the sum of two numbers if the sum is greater than 50 so only if the sum of the two number is greater than 50 then it will print or it will print the sum now here's a solution to that question so as usual we would prompt the user to enter the, the numbers and accept the numbers so you see that we ask them to enter the first number then we accept the first number ask the user to enter the second number and we accept the second number and we use the two variables to represent the numbers num1 and num2 therefore to find the total we need to add these two variables so the, the values that are stored in the variable that we added and the result will be stored in total now remember guys only if the total of the two number is greater than 50 then it would print the total so after finding the total right so if say for example uh you had 30 represented in num1 and 35 represented in num2 when this is added you would have a total of 65 so here now if 65 is greater than 50 then it would print if the value in total is less than 50 then it would just terminate there right and always remember when you open an if statement you have to end the if statement that's why we have end if there at the end of the soda code let's look at another question now this question requires us to write an algorithm that calculates Trissy's age now if Trissy is under 13 years old the program will print the message that is a child however if Trissy is over 13 years old it will print the message Trissy not a child so let's look at this solution so the first thing would ask the user to enter the bird year because to find your, your year you need to subtract the year that you were born from your birth year or your birth year from the year you were born right then we introduce a variable that we call birth year which will accept the year that the person will the year that Trissy was born they will ask to enter the current year and we introduce a variable called current year which would accept the year as in it's 2020 right we'll accept the current year or 2020. So to find Tracy's age, you'd have age equal to current year minus the bird year. So that therefore mean if the current year is now 2020 and was born in 2000, right? It would have 2020 as in 2020 minus the year 2000, and that would give us what years right so remember if age as in if Trissy's age is under 13 then Trissy is a child it would print Trissy is a step is a child however if Trissy age is over 13 years old it will print Trissy is not a child and remember guys we have to end the if statement when we open the if statement always remember to do that that is the end of our lesson so stay tuned for our tutorials and always remember to like share and subscribe and please leave a comment in the section below. 
can get some feedback from you guys. Thank you.